Hi everyone, it's Chloe here. I'm the owner, maker, and creator of Emmy Creations. Welcome to my channel. Um, so it is one week till the Lunar New Year, and I have been so busy. I have so many orders requesting um, my handmade Zodiac toys, and I. I'm not even sure how many I've made so far in the month of January. And it's only been, what's the date today? I think today's the 16th. So it's only been two weeks into the new year. And I I feel like I've made like 20 or more of my Zodiac toys. And I'm still making. I have a massive order of seven rabbits, another one of four Zodiacs, another one of two. So adding it all up, it's... I need to make another 20. So I am just going to try and get all those bunnies done um, before the Lunar New Year so I can just ship them away. Unfortunately, because of shipping times and how long it's taken me to process the orders, it's going to take longer to, to get it delivered. Um, so people who have bought from my store for those physical toys, they probably won't be receiving it until after the Lunar New Year, which is really unfortunate. But, you know, the Lunar New Year celebrations last longer than one day. It actually lasts, I think, over a week. I'm actually not quite sure. I should really check with my parents. But um, yeah, it lasts longer. So I'm hoping that they will arrive on time but you know what, I, I don't know how many Zodiacs I can make in a week. So I'm going to use this video to, I guess, track my progress and see how I go. And hopefully I will get majority of my orders done before the Lunar New Year starts. But um, just a little side thing. So I don't know if you saw on my Instagram, I've decided some, I designed some new Lunar New Year characters. Um, I'll flip my camera around and I'll just show you what they are. Okay, so here are my new Lunar New Year designs. So right now Feng, the monk, is wearing uh, Weiwei's hat but Weiwei is wearing his dragon I mean not dragon lion dancing costume so right now I am hoping to have all these patterns oh and also Mei Mei I forgot about Mei Mei so Mei Mei is the last design that I did um, but I'm hoping to release all of these um, characters before the Lunar New Year or on the Lunar New Year but um, I really had fun designing these cuties um, unfortunately, I'm not selling them. I'm only selling the pattern. Um, but yeah, there, there will be a pattern bundle coming out with these cuties. And it will be a volume two of my Lunar New Year series. Because last year I designed a Lunar New Year series of lantern, fortune cookies, um, the clementines. Uh, what else did I designed? Um, the golden nugget and also red pockets. So that was in my first series. But these little cuties are in my second series. So yeah, hopefully you've seen them and you, you know, if you've bought the pattern, I can't wait to see your completed um, makes. But yeah, so these are my latest designs for, my, for the Lunar New Year. Um, that's a piece of paper art that I did uh, for Cricut um, during our collaboration. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. I will be doing a separate video showing you or just talking about how I made it and also um, just my thoughts on the Cricut as well because I've managed to make two projects with the Cricut Joy. And then I just want to show you something else. So aren't these flowers gorgeous? So I actually bought two and I've already gifted one to my mother-in-law. But these, this uh, flower arrangement is made by Only Flowers, who is um, located in Sydney. So um, unfortunately, if you're not in Sydney, um, you won't be able to get these flowers. But every year they do these Lunar New Year special arrangements, and I had to get some this year. But they are dried flowers, and I've been using them in my photography so again, if you follow me on Instagram, you, you would have seen some photos um, of this arrangement. But anyways, I need to get started. I've already started making some of the bunnies. I've only managed to make 
three heads. <laughs> so my plan of attack is to make all the individual elements first and then sew them all together at the same time. I'm hoping that will be more less, I mean, less time consuming and I'll save time because usually I will make the individual bunnies and so I'll just make all the little bits and then do it and then start a new one and do, do it that way. But considering how many orders I have of these bunnies, I think it might be more time saving if I crocheted each of the individual parts first and then sew them all together once I've crocheted all the parts. So let's see how I go. But... Hopefully, hopefully I will, let's see how I can, how many I can make in one day. Let's see. So today's a Monday. Um, and Mondays I usually finish at 5 p.m. So, and right now it is almost 11 a.m. So a bit of a short working day. So let's see, let's see how I go. But anyways, I'm going to get started. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, so it is the next day, just based off my change of clothing. Um, but yesterday I had to run a few errands, so I don't feel like I did much on my Zodiac toys. But this is what I got done. So I've got all the heads and all the bodies done, but I actually really want to get all the ears done yesterday. But had a few things come up and... Um, they were more urgent, so I had to do those first, uh, do those things first. So I'm really hoping that today will be much more productive because one, hubby's not at home, so he's not a distraction. <laughs> um, and there are no errands that I have to do. I just clean the whole apartment up, woke up early just to do it. So right now it's 10 a.m. and I'm going to get started on making those ears. And hopefully I can get all the parts done today so I can start sewing them maybe tonight. Like I, I might have to work tonight just to catch up on things because yesterday I literally only ended up working for three or four hours, uh, which is not a lot um, considering how much I have to do. So I am going to get started and hopefully today will be a very productive day. Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, so got my ears done. So I've got the ears done, the body and the head. Now I need to make the dress. Um, but I still have the arms and the tail to make as well. Um, but thinking about it, maybe I'll do the tails first because that's faster and I feel like I would be even more productive if I finished the tails first. <laughs> I don't know if this is something that um, you guys do as well, but you always do the easiest things first and, and then you leave the hardest thing last only because when you do the easiest pieces first, you feel more productive and you feel like you've made a lot of parts. But that's me. Like mentally, I feel like I'm more productive when I do it that way. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do the tail first and then the dress. It's 12 p.m. right now, so I my plan is to, I guess, try and finish the dresses in two, three hours, and then that way I can do the arms, and then I can sew everything together. Maybe tonight. I think the sewing will be tonight. Will have to be tonight. It won't be. I won't be able to do it in the afternoon. I think because I need to do some chores. I need to do some laundry as well. So. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I am going to make the tails first, feel productive, and then get started on the dress. Okay, so got the hair up and then I powered through the dresses and I finished them, seven of them. So now I've only got the arms left and it's, it's what time is it? It's actually five already. So I'm thinking I might just take a little break, prep some dinner and then I will try and finish all the arms tonight and then hopefully tomorrow I can start sewing everything together. So I'm going to have a break. I feel like I've been crocheting for too long today. Okay, so it is a new day today. And so last night I was actually quite productive. I did a little bit of extra work because I wasn't so productive on Monday. So I managed to finish all the parts, making all the different parts so that I can sew them all together today to make the bunnies. Um, so I've got 
all the past for seven bunnies only, but that is actually just for one order. I don't think I mentioned that at the beginning. So I've made, so this particular order, they requested seven uh, Year of the Rabbits, um, and they also added some personalization as well. So I'm going to be sewing and embroidering as well today. Um, but I'm very confident that I'll finish this one order today, which is a Wednesday, and then I can, you know, start working on my next orders. So... The good thing is now I know I can make up to, and I'm pretty sure once I make all the rabbits, I can make more um, depending how much time I have left for the day. But I can, I think I can confidently say that I can make at least eight to nine zodiacs in uh, three days. So that's like averaging, you know, between two or three even. Like I think if I push it really hard, I can make three zodiacs in one day and yesterday I just did a check of how many toys I still need to make and I still need to make um, 19. <laughs> so I, I already know I'm not going to finish before the Lunar New Year but I guess I just want to get out the orders that were placed um, during my Christmas closure and this is the very last one. The other orders that I got they were all made in the first week or last week of um, the month um, so, so I can you know take my time with that but this particular order was literally made on the 31st of December so um, the partic that particular buyer has been waiting almost two weeks for their um, rabbits and I want to try and get it done so that I can ship it to them. They also paid express. So if I finish it today, they probably can receive it by next Wednesday, which is still really good. Um, and then the US, so maybe, maybe not. But I think shipping right now is not as hectic as around Christmas, so I should be okay. But anyways, I need to get started on sewing. I'll, I'll probably turn the camera around just to show you all the parts that I did, and I will start putting all the rabbits together. Here are all the parts. So I realized last night that I forgot to mention that I had to make, oops, I had to make some bows. So luckily I was able to make the bows um, before I went to bed. Um, so yeah, I had plenty of time, which was really good. I, I have to admit, by the end of the day, I don't know if you can see this. I don't think you can, but I don't know if my camera's gonna adjust. No, adjust, okay, great. Nope, did it just not? Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but I have this callus. If I press it down, you can probably see it. But I have this callus. There we go. I have this callus on my pinky finger, and it's quite painful. I think, obviously, that is from crocheting, you know, two days straight to make these things. So I might, good thing is, I don't think I'll be crocheting too much today, so it won't be too bad. But it is a little painful, so I might need to put a band-aid there just to stop the friction of my hook hitting my little pinky. But of all the places in my hand, I get a callus on my pinky finger. I would have thought I would have gone like on my index finger or my thumb or something, but nope, it's on my pinky. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to get started on sewing and let's see how I go today.
Okay, so head and body are sewn together. Now I'm going to sew the bunnies. Starting to look like bunnies. Okay, so now I'm gonna sew the um, bows and also the dress on. And then it will be the arms and then the tails. And then I'll start embroidering the details. Okay, so I've sewn the bows and also the dresses on. Now I'm going to do the arms and the little tail at the back. And hopefully, I'll be done soon and then I can do those um, embroidery details of the initials but what time is it now? It's two o'clock. <laughs> Who would have known it would take so long to sew everything together? <laughs> Okay, it is, what time is it? I think it's 
But I finished sewing all the arms, the tail, and also embroidered the faces and also applied blush to these rabbits. So I'm just going to give my hand a little break for, let's say, half an hour. Just need to do some hand exercises because they were a little cramping a little bit from all the sewing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and embroider all the in uh, initials on the backs of the rabbits, hopefully before dinner, because I really don't want to be embroidering at night because my hands are quite stiff at the moment from holding the sewing needle okay so i am actually quite tired now and it is seven but i actually finished these earlier i think um around six o'clock um i had an early dinner because i was starving but i have embroidered um the initials on so this big order of seven bunnies is done I'm finished. Um, the next order that I have to work on requests for zodiacs. Um, from memory, it was bunny, pig, rooster, and goat. So, oh, I just realized they're all the zodiacs um, of my family. But anyways, <laughs> um, I'm going to get, oh, and, oh, did I say rooster? Yeah, rooster. Anyway, so I need to get started on those um i think i'm just gonna take captain for a walk come back and then see how i go but chances are probably we'll just get one zodiac done tonight but yeah i'm gonna so t today is wednesday tomorrow is thursday so i've got two days left until the weekend so let's see what i can do in two days but this is this is quite good i i at least now I know I can make um, probably around eight zodiacs in three days. So I think that's that's pretty good to know for the future. I think so. <laughs> having done this and having had my store, you know, been open for two years now. Now that I can see a trend, and I guess. What I'm trying to say is I'm starting to realize that I get a lot of orders for my Zodiac toys around the Lunar New Year or like, you know, a month or even two months before the Lunar New Year starts. So I'm going to take this as a lesson. I think this year I'm going to do things better. I'm going to be more prepared for the Lunar New Year next year. And I'm going to pre-make a lot of my Zodiacs. So I will try my best to you know, on periods or, yeah, or months where it's the low season where I'm not too busy, I will be making Zodiac so that I am prepared for the next new, new, new year. And I know the next year is the dragon. And I think the dragon's going to be very popular. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to, you know, make myself or remind myself to, to make a lot of dragons for next year. Because last year, with last year's Zodiac, so last year was a year of the tiger, I did get a lot of Zodiac orders. But because my business was still quite slow last year, um, I didn't get as many orders as I did this year. I would say I got double of what I got last year or maybe even triple. So, and, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> This is what happens when you're not organized. So if you're watching this, learn from me. Um, don't do, you know, if you're not keen on the make to or made to order system, uh, which I'm starting to realize it's really hard. <laughs> um, do, do a pre-order, you know, set up a pre-order, um, have, have some toys made already um, throughout the year and then have it ready for or or rather than a pre-order, just make as many as you can throughout the year and then you basically update your inventory and whatever is sold is sold and you don't make any more um, based on how many you make. So I think I might change it that way only because I feel like 
like I said, January is like a write off right now for me. And I had so many things planned to do for January. And now I feel like I can't do any of them because I have so many orders because I guess people, people were interested to buy my toys. And, um, I think I didn't account for that. I think I just, um, totally just, I guess I still don't have that confidence, <laughs> which, um, and, and the fact that people like my toys and like my products still, still baffles me. Um, so I'm going to take this as a lesson and that I am going to be more prepared. I say this every year though. I told myself I'm going to be more prepared. Um, like for example, my finances last year, my finances were a mess. Like when it came to tax time, oh my Lord, it took me a whole week to go through all my numbers. Um, this financial year, I've been more organized, much more organized. I log all my finances at the end of the month. So that way I don't need to be, you know, searching for receipts or going through invoices in my email. Um, so I didn't really take that mindset into you know other parts of my business as well um but yeah I'm rambling now because I feel frustrated with myself that I wasn't organized enough in terms of um getting ready for the lunar new year and the expectations of you know how many orders I was got potentially receiving and and the thing is now that I understand the trends of my business I can have a better understanding of what to expect now. So for the next year, so next year, so it's been two years. So next year will be the third year. Um, it will hopefully be much more efficient. Um, and I won't be, you know, working so much until I have blisters on my finger. <laughs> so, so yeah, take this as a lesson from me. Um, if you're watching this, just, just take, take, take this um as a as a little reminder i guess <laughs> but i'm learning i'm always learning i'm learning as i go um and sometimes you need to learn the hard way so and that's that's what i what that's exactly what's happening right now i'm learning the hard way um but anyways i'm going to put these rabbits away i'm going to take some photos tomorrow because i because I put so much effort into them. I'm going to take some photos tomorrow when the lighting is a lot better. And then I'm going to take a little break and then start on my next order, which is also a fairly big order of four toys. Um, so yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay, so it's just about to start filming and then Captain came over and decided to sleep on my lap. Hi, Captain. Hi. He's actually going to get a haircut today, so I will show you what he'll look like after his haircut. But anyways, it's not about you, Captain. It's not about you today. Um, okay, so last night I managed to make a chicken and started a snake. Um, I'm going to try and finish this order, which I realized I was looking at the wrong order yesterday. Um, that's a later order, but I don't need to make a pig or, or I forgot what I mentioned. But anyways, this one, I need to make a goat and a, oh, I already forgot what I have to make. But anyways, don't worry. I always have my orders printed, but yeah, I'm going to finish off the snake. I'm going to package these rabbits and then take it to the post box. Um, the weather is not too nice today it was actually um 32 degrees yesterday here and today it's 22 a 10 degree difference <laughs> but anyways i am going to get started <laughs> i'm looking so lazy right now <laughs> because i'm actually tired i don't think i've ever made so many toys in such a short amount of time um i mean in the last well, since the 1st of January, I've just been making, 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 making and non-stop making. I do take breaks. I do do my wrist and hand exercises because I learnt from a few a uh, couple of years ago that I need to take breaks. Otherwise, I'm going to get um, carpal tunnel again. So, so yeah, uh, I'm going to probably take it easy today. Just do some packaging and just... Yeah, I need to take Captain to the groomer as well, so I probably won't get much done today. 
but yeah, let's see how I go. It's a Thursday today as well, by the way. So technically only got two days or less than two days left to make as many Zodiacs as I can. So, so yeah, gotta get started. Taking Captain to the groomer. Basement three. <laughs> I came back from dropping Captain off and then I managed to finish a snake. I've, I'm feeling very productive today for some reason. <laughs> um, but I think I'm going to give my hands a little break because I've been crocheting so much. So now I'm going to package these bunnies up. Yep. Before I start the packaging, just want to show you these cute stickers that I made. So every Lunar New Year, I'm sorry you can't see all the other ones. Maybe I can. Actually, I don't have that many left, but every Lunar New Year, I always make these special stickers to give out as freebies, depending on the zodiac that you request. Um, so this person ordered rabbits, but I decided to give them um, all the different zodiacs so I guess they can pick and choose and give one out to each person that she's gifting those rabbits to maybe but yeah every year I always do this so I always just make a small handful um, never really thought about selling them though but maybe I might change my mind and sell the individual zodiacs I do sell the um, sticker sheets though so I'll have a little think. But yeah, I, I actually drew them all myself as well on Illustrator, um, which was really fun. So yeah. But yeah, I thought I'd just show you these cute stickers that I made. Okay, so just came back from the groomers and was going to keep working, <laughs> but Captain decided to um, sleep on me. <laughs> Hi. Oh. He's a little unhappy about the fact that I left him at the groomers. I think he's just going to stick with me for a while. So I might call it a night. I didn't really get much done today. I literally just made one snake and packed some orders and that was it. Perks of um, being your own boss. You can say your own times and, you know, when and, yeah, like when you want to do things and when you don't want to do things. So, yeah. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be more productive. Right, Captain? Are you going to stay like this forever? Huh? <laughs> okay, so it is Friday today and I'm going to treat this as my last day of the week because tomorrow is Lunar New Year Eve and then Sunday is the Lunar New Year. So I don't want to be working. I want to be having some fun, enjoying the company of friends and family. So Friday is the last day of the week <laughs> for me today, which 
usually is, depending on how much I work. Sometimes I might work on Saturday, but for this week, no. I am, you know, clocking off at 5 p.m. on Friday, or maybe even earlier. Today I'm, you know, sometimes I have those days where I just don't feel like doing anything, and today is one of those days. <laughs> but I want to try and finish at least two orders today, um, two toy orders that is. So I still need to make two rabbits, an ox, and a goat. So I'll see how I go. I think I can do it. Last night I did some rabbits, um, but they're half done. So I'm going to finish those off today and then um, package them up and post them in the post box. And then I'll call it a day. So I'm going to have to try and survive the next seven hours. <laughs> I think I'm gonna call it a day. I just finished this cute goat. There we go. Oh, it's not focusing, but yeah. This is a little um, custom one, kind of. The person who bought this wanted me to remove the goatee and add a bow, and I've done that, and she looks extremely cute. Um, <laughs> Captain's looking extremely proper as well. <laughs> Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm going to call it a day and I'm going to pack these toys up. Um, so I guess in total, how many did I make in five days? I made 12 Zodiacs in five days. So I guess that's pretty good. That's a good, I don't know, effort, I guess. Um, I think I could have made more, but like I said, I always give myself a break and I know when to take breaks, like today. So right now it's 2, 2.45 only, but I'm, I'm knackered. I'm tired. I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to package my orders and then chill and spend some time with Captain. Even though he's been sleeping next to me for the whole day, he has not moved off the couch since this morning. Um, he's obviously still very traumatized from the groomers. <laughs> But anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for some really cool videos that I have got planned. Um, but I hope everyone has a great Lunar New Year and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!